Hello, my name is Imad and I'm with the communications team uh, of MSF in Lebanon. Uh, we're here in Marm Khail today, which is one of the neighborhoods in Beirut that were heavily affected by the explosion on August 4. Uh, right after the explosion, MSF took over this uh, little restaurant here. Uh, we set up this tent right outside, as you can see behind me. Uh, it's a tent where we started immediately to treat people that were suffering of uh, wounds, of cuts. Uh, also in this tent, we were doing COVID tests. So this is the main door this is the first step for anyone trying to go into the clinic uh, they walk through you can see already that there are some signs for uh, wearing face masks uh, there are the hours of the clinic but there's a whole process as you will see in a minute uh, to make sure that people are safe and protected for covid uh, just before they enter the main space this is where they start uh, washing their hands just to make sure they're disinfected. Uh, they go around and uh, we had the X's on the ground just to keep the physical distancing between people. One of the side effects of the explosion is that uh, a lot of the pharmacies were damaged. A lot of the stocks of uh, medication stocked near the port were also damaged on this side. Uh, this was the dispensary area where people, after they went through the, the disinfecting process, they would head up to the dispensary and they would receive their medication. As I mentioned, this used to be a restaurant, so this was the bar here. The other service that we were providing in this uh, space, and we still continue to do this today, uh, it's the mental health consultations. So we're going to head in that direction. So in that space, uh, we have two tents that are uh, closed off. And these tents, uh, that's where the one-on-one -on -one consultation happens between an MSF psychologist or psychiatrist and uh, a patient. Uh, one of the things that our mental health professionals noticed right after the explosion is that the immediate need was psychological first aid. So so it's uh, dealing with the immediate emotions after any incident like this and after this explosion specifically and it quite literally meant going out in the street and talking to people, dealing with people who are still under the shock. Of course this isn't something very easy for our uh, mental health staff because they themselves have been affected by the same incident that they are trying to treat people from. So that was there was a phase where people were just trying to fix the immediate needs and it's only after that that the mental health uh, uh, let's say symptoms or issues start to appear and uh, people start to take them into consideration as something that needs to be to be cared for. So some people are still losing sleep, some people are still unable to focus, are the very dispersed, a lot of children are, uh, are bedwetting, a lot of children are refusing to leave the house uh, for fear that something might happen if they leave.